Hello everyone, welcome back. Smothered Run here once again with another Shogunate Total War Tournament 2020 first round matchup. This is a matchup between Lord Fife as the Takaoka and AC Bant as the Sakai. We're here at Yamasaki Choke Point. We have three key, key buildings. First one here is the Archery Dojo. Right in the middle is the workshop. And over here is everyone's favorite, the farmhouse. So uh, this video was, uh, replay was submitted by Lord Fife. So we'll take a quick look at, uh, well, we'll do his army first. And then we'll jump over. So over here, gonna make a run for the workshop in the middle. We have two Yari Cavalry. And one Yari Cavalry along with the general. He has a front line of basically everything you could think of here. We have a bow samurai, Naginata warrior monk, katana samurai, kisho ninja, katana samurai, katana samurai, fire rockets, two matchlock samurai, another kisho ninja, katana samurai, and another katana samurai. So, interesting army. I'm going to say it's still a sword core based on the sheer number of swords um, with a bunch of interesting stuff thrown in. Um, I don't know if deploying my ninjas right there would have been the right thing to do. Maybe put them in the rear on the flanks. I don't know, but we'll see how he does. And over here, from what we could see of AC Bant's army, he has one, two, four warrior monks, and three. Three bow samurai. One, two, three, four, five, six Yari Ashigaru. And two katana samurai. And no cavalry that we can see. So, anyways, I'll start the battle. And. Sorry if you hear that, but uh, it's been a long day, so I'm having a beer as I do this, relaxing. I'm just going to double speed because nothing is really happening. There we go. We have, that just popped out of the woods, we have some cavalry. We've got two Yari cavalry, or sorry, Yari cavalry and a great guard over here, and I think we had a Yari cavalry and a great guard over here. Fast forward again, just because nothing's happening. Yari Cavalry and Yari Cavalry. So three and one. Great guard. And so Lord Fife is definitely not wasting any time here moving right up. Unfortunately, he deployed on the side of the archery dojo. I don't know. Oh, stop moving. You got a golden opportunity. Oh, no. Our stop your units have been discovered units by moving. Lord. Get some spears up, get some sp oh no. That is just a... I mean, the Kisho Ninja make it interesting, but... Unfortunately, you're cheesing through your own guys. But you are gonna win that. Our general aye, is aye, aye, in great generals. danger, my lord! Let's see how the anti-blob strategy goes. I killed 23 with one volley, that's pretty good. killed fewer that time. Yeah, 39 total. So, um, good chunk of uh, AC Bant's. Okay. Good chunk of AC Bant's cavalry is done. We're going to talk about something really quick. Um, this is a bad idea. And Ace, uh, Lord Fife has a great chance to end the battle right away by taking out the general. So, really something you should think about doing. If you can keep your eye on the battle, find units of high priority, i.e. the general, and find that they're weak or vulnerable, you gotta do it, you gotta take them out. The other thing is that you should not be facing, when you're facing an army with a missile core like this one, I mean these are both missile cores, but um, with this kind of bow core you need to be advancing as fast as you possibly can. 
uh, and not with your cavalry, not into spears, not into, oh no, I mean he does get the archers, but oy, 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 not spread out, that's going to be a waste of his cavalry, that's unfortunate, and you don't want to sit and skirmish if you only have two bow samurai, or even in this case just one, against five bow units, you need to be advancing. Screen with your infantry or your calf, but advance as fast as you possibly can. And remember, kids, cavalry loses to spears every single time. So there goes half or uh, two thirds of Lord Fife's cavalry. Um, not exactly a fair trade. Done minimal damage to the bows done minimal damage, zero damage to the spears really, so, um, and unfortunately he's just sitting there taking the arrows, um, Lord Fife has a good opportunity to press an advantage just because he has more melee units, and unfortunately he's not taking them, no, oh, we had one more katana samurai, and did not, Lord Fife did not go after the, uh, the general, when he had the chance. That's just, that's unfortunate. Uh, Matchlock's in the rear. They're not going to do any good there. No spears covering Kisha Ninja. Not um, going to use. Oh boy, charging in the wedge formation. Okay, this is another don't do. Do not do this. Charging in the wedge formation is not as good as you might think. Um, Shogun 1 and probably some other Total War games, it was fantastic. Charging in wedge formation in Shogun 2 is uh, basically useless. Uh, so again, that cavalry got a fantastic charge into the rear and flanks of those Nodachis, and they're basically all gone. Or those sword units, they're basically all gone. This battle is in solidly in AC Man's hands, despite the fact that the ninjas are about to unleash absolute carnage. Let's get up close. Hopefully, we can get another shot of all these ninjas making people explode. Bombs are up. Bombs are up. to a bunch of Yari Samurai, or Yari Ashigar, in Yari. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, um, Lord Fife had a number of advantages in this one and was unable to press them. But anyways, um, we'll see how it goes. It's not over yet. Our men are running from the battlefield! A shameful display! That's the thing, the ninja units are so powerful. Um, however, because of the small numbers, because of the small numbers, they uh, generally, you have to be very careful how you use them, and using them as a standalone fighter against multiple units, um, with matchlock shooting through them, it's not going to uh, help you. But, uh, anyways, this battle is just about done. Our men are running from the battlefield! So we're just going to actually... Same for this play! Fast forward, yeah, maybe see if we can watch the general. Get down to his last man. Where's the general? And he routes. Just about. That's a good kill rate for the last boat. Well, there's the general right there. Fighting value. All right, so that's the end of that battle. We're gonna jump right into the second one. And we're back. This is match number two between Lord Fife and AC Band. We're at Numazawa. Um, fun map. It's a very fun map, actually. I really enjoy this one. Um, particular armies I like to use when I'm fighting here. 
So we have three key buildings. We have the Archery Dojo, the Shrine, and the Workshop. So not bad. Um, I'll go over Takaoka, uh, Lord Fife's army first. So, um, sort of the same army, just a little bit of variation to it. We have boat, two bow samurai, a fire rocket, and then we have one matchlock samurai, looks like, two matchlock samurai. One, two, three, four katana samurai. Just gonna double check that we haven't missed anybody. No, we have three bow samurai, look at that. Four katana samurai, we have one fire rocket, we have two Yariashigaru, and one, probably three Yari cavalry, yep, three Yari cavalry. Okay, so very much bit more balanced army than last time. Um, facing off against AC Band, who brings in this match here. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We have two Bow Warrior Monks. We have one, two, three Bow Samurai. So again, a Missile Core. Uh, this is definitely a Bow Core. And um, see how well he does with it. Did all right last time. We have one, two, three, four Katana Samurai. One, two, three, four, five Yari Ashigaru. And then four cavalry units. We have uh, one, two, three, four, uh, three Yari Cav, and one Great Guard. So, um, especially if I deploy on this end of the map where I'm moving the most, um, I like to try to bring sort of like what he's doing here, but bring more of my cavalry out this way so that my opponent focuses entirely on it and then do some other stuff over this way. Um, bring bring a few smaller units for a hammer and anvil from behind kind of thing. So anyways, we're gonna see an early cavalry engagement, hopefully, right over here in the middle. Very aggressive here, forcing the uh, Lord Fife back. Just gonna double speed because nothing's really happening. Lord Fife, I guess, just realized that there's fire rockets there, so has to be very careful what he does. Very aggressive with the general. You never know if someone's got units in hiding. Um, I mean, ambush patrol is good. Um, you should be doing that, but uh, I don't know if I'd be doing that with my general. But so, anyways, um, now what? Lord Fife really needs to do is is make sure his fire rockets can set up. There you go. Get a good volley off. Oof. Fairly good shot there, I think. We have where are the fire rockets. 33 kills in one volley. That is not bad at all, especially against the cavalry. I mean, following that up with chasing down that cavalry with your own. That now I would be backing those cavalry up with some Yaris, preferably some Yari Samurai, maybe some Matchlocks. So delaying action here, he's going to send in one and then the rest into Lord Fife. This great guard is just going to eat it. Um, actually, he's doing quite, quite well, and here we go. This is probably what's going to seal it for... Oh, nope. Doesn't end up pulling the cavalry in, but to do a hammer and anvil... Um, and oh no, no spears supporting, those swords are just... Why did you stop? That's a definitely keep going. There you go. Swords trying to block a charge, not quite as effective as they could be. Now they're in melee, that'll be pretty good. Um, just a blob of units clumping up onto that cavalry there, so the cavalry should be okay. Oof. Oh no. Shooting into your own guys with matchlocks. Ouch. 
but got rid of uh, Lord Fife's, or sorry, uh, AC Bat's cavalry. Those fire rockets are doing okay again, making sure they're, let's see where they're at, they're at 100 and something kill, or almost 100 kills, not bad. Routed a unit, that's what you want to see. Um, but you really need to be advancing and not taking arrows, you need to be charging in. Fire rocks are good, but you need to be taken out because you're losing a lot of. Our men are running from the battlefield. I missed those. Shameful display. Very nice, very nice. Sorry about that. Just away. You need to put pressure on these bows so they can stop shooting because that is what's going to cost and be the biggest problem for Lord Fife is those bows. Look at those bows into everything. Even if you send a unit of bow samurai in to engage with hand to hand, I mean you're not going to win that. Oh, there goes fire rockets. They're gonna finish with Our men are running 176 from the kills. That's pretty good. Same for this play. Your general's right there. Please hit that cavalry. Please. Um, I guess not. Fortunately for Lord Fife, um, all that isn't going to matter. All, everything that's happening in the rear isn't going to matter because he is going to get through. Basically put everyone to, to a rope. Very nice, very nice. Oh, hand to hand with the bow samurai, that's all right. And he still has a couple of fire rockets left. Hmm. Impressive. I thought they were done. I thought they were done for. See, two very big missile cores. Um, looks like this time Lord Fife got the upper hand. Those bows and Our general will is in grave danger, long. my lord! band could end up pulling this out. Uh, not anymore. This looks like a done deal. Our men are running from the battlefield! Oh. Shame for this play! Lost track of your katana samurai. Lost track of my katana samurai. Oh no. Warrior monks will absolutely decimate you. Our general has been injured, my lord. He lives, but must leave the battle. And there we go. So Lord Fife pulls out the win. We have a we have a match tied at one game apiece. We're going to go to a deciding a deciding game. So see you in just a few moments. Welcome back. We are at Chugok River, and this is the third and deciding match between AC Band and Lord Fife. So we'll just go quickly through the setups. Lord Fife has, again, a Kisho Ninja. We have more of a, uh, it's about the same, but he's brought a few more bows this time. So we have one, two, three bow samurai. We have two matchlock samurai. One, two, three, four, five katana samurai, some fire rockets. And two Yari Ashigaru, two, three Yari Cavalry. So an army uh, similar to something I'd bring. Very interesting. Um, facing up against AC Bant again, of course, and he's brought relatively the same army. We have two Bow Warrior Monks, three Bow Samurai, one, two, three, four, five, ooh, six Yari Ashigaru. 
two katana samurai with a level of veteran C. Three katana samurai, four katana samurai, and then we have one, two, three, three Yari cavalry and one great card. All right, let's go to it. So once again, Chugoku River, we have in the middle here, the sword dojo. Over here, we have the archery dojo and back behind us over here at the edge of the island, we have the workshop. So, very interesting, and once again, if you're facing a ranged army, like this one, you need to close the distance, and if you're facing a ranged army like this one, you need to close the dist distance as quickly as possible. Now, when you're facing matchlocks, screening is far is even more important than it is when you're facing bows, so we'll see how these two do. Just going to double speed just a little bit here. Nothing's really happening. Um, now, one of the things Lord Fife could have moved his ninjas up to start taking the building. However, that would have tipped his hand and let his opponent know that he had ninjas. So this is actually not a bad strategy to leave the ninjas there just close enough and then let his regular units... Um, capture the building. Now this is good. Oh, but, but why are you pulling back? But why are you pulling back? You're still taking arrows. Um, this is where having your units on loose formation when you engage is a good idea. Um, fire rockets I'd be targeting cavalry with, not infantry at this point, but I mean they did it did get off a half decent volley there, killing 20. But it should be Lord Fife closing the distance first, not AC Bant. Um, AC Bant is putting his units in. Now, Lord Fife is doing something very good here. He's actually attacking them all in the flanks for the most part. Which will help route them. So look how fast they routed. So having the matchlock fire, and look how... F okay. Once again, let's talk about generals. Your general needs to be close to the army. Like this. Yes, there's a risk with fire rockets. But this is where... Even bringing the fire rockets and having them as a threat, and not actually using them, is a good thing, because look how far AC Band's general is from his front lines. His units are just melting because of the morale shocks from the bows, from the matchlocks, which do a huge morale penalty, and just from the superior numbers of infantry <coughs> engaging. So, and needless to say, having all these bows is great, but you're not supporting them now. This is not a bad idea. Lord Fife looks preoccupied. Why not send your cavalry in, in behind? However, Lord Fight is going to catch on to it just at the last moment, send all his cavalry and his general a big risk, and his, a unit of spears. Now, he's also doing a good job here by forcing the unit of cavalry to follow him, leaving these fire rockets open as a bit of bait. It's fine. What I do at this point is actually grab a set of matchlocks and turn them around and start shooting into too late, but shooting into the cavalry. It's too late now. But. Now this cap battle is going on. What AC Band he really needs to do is actually hit from this angle. This is good. Straight in from the rear would be better. Um, fortunately, Lord Fife has a Naginata Warrior Monk, not a regular Yari Samurai, so that war cry is just absolutely devastating to those Yari Cav. And there they go, they're routed, shattered, and broken. So, all in all, not bad. Lord Fife is managing to... Our men are really running from the battlefield! Uh, shame for this play! Get a few good shots on the general, good job. This bow took a heavy casualty. Uh, yes, this is what friendly fire does. Look at the morale bar. Yes, that was a worthwhile sacrifice, but... It's a huge morale penalty. 
And there we go. It appears Lord Fife is going to wrap this up. My lord! A glorious victory will soon and be there you yours! Go. So Lord Fife will advance on into the second round in the winner's bracket, and AC Bent will drop down into the loser's bracket. So hope you guys enjoyed. Have a, Hope this was uh, insightful, helpful, and remember to please check out um, more battle commentary from Triple Z Hacker. And this once again, this tournament is being hosted by the Shogun at YouTube, so please head over there and give them a look, give them a like, and maybe a subscribe. Okay, that's all for now. See you guys next time.